All right, the next example is the integral of t to the one-third minus t to the two-thirds. Um, it's good news that these guys are given as uh, exponentials. So why don't we go ahead and then try to find the antiderivative of the little f? So little f in this case is the integrand, which is t to the power of one over three minus t to the power of uh, two thirds, okay? All right, so let's find capital F, which is the antiderivative of the difference of two expo exponential terms. Well, this one has the integral t to the one third plus one divided by one third plus one. And the next one is t to do two thirds plus one divided by two thirds plus one. All right, so what we're gonna do next is to simplify this expression. So here we go. So we have two to do four thirds divided by four thirds, but we can flip it. So three quarters t to the four thirds minus, um, this is t to the five thirds divided by five thirds, but you flip it, it becomes three over five. Well, in the next step, we're gonna use the fundamental theorem of calculus, and we got the antiderivative of little f. So this is equal to capital F of t with the bracket notation, lower limit is negative one, upper limit is zero, which essentially means that you evaluate capital F at zero, and then you evaluate capital F at negative one and subtract uh, from uh, f of zero. So the next thing is just function evaluation. Let's just do it real quick. So when t equals zero in the expression of f, you have zero, zero here, so that spits out zero all the way, minus, now we're gonna evaluate the same function at t equals negative one, so this becomes three quarters, negative one to the power of four thirds, minus, three-fifths, negative one to the power of five-thirds. Okay, well at this stage you can go ahead and use your calculator, but let's just do it without a calculator here. Um, so this essentially means that you're taking the fourth power of negative one, which is one, positive one, and then you take the cubic root of that, that's also one. So essentially this is um, three-quarters. And for this one you take the fifth power of negative one, which is in fact negative one, and you take the cubic root of negative one, which is negative one, so this becomes plus three-fifths, and then if you add them up, so you have minus 27 over 20. And I can go ahead and write the value of this definite integral to be negative 27 over 20. Here is the graphical outlook of the function f, as you see, blue curve is below the x-axis, so what that means is the function takes all negative values on the interval negative one and zero, and we got the integral of f from negative one to zero to be minus 27 over 20, which is in fact the negative of the area between the curve and the x-axis, because areas are supposed to be always positive.